Good morning. This is Meets the Screen Thumb and welcome to my channel. I will be today working on a few things, but the main thing was this pineapple from a store. I want to show you how I can take this pineapple and or you can grow this into a really nice plant, which eventually grows into a, a little baby pineapple. And the main plant has grown two baby pineapples in the time I've had it. So this is what I'm going to get started with. And I know my friend, uh, Newfound Drones Production will be joining us probably, and he's going to do one at home. So it's just any ordinary pineapple from a store. But you are looking for the crown, the crown right in here, because a lot of the companies take that out so that you can't grow a pineapple. So you you have to have the crown in here, or it will not grow because it it takes a lot of energy for it to produce a plant and grow into a plant, but also forcing the roots to go down is uses a lot of energy. Now, I also want to say, hi, Cliff, if you're there, good morning or good afternoon, since it's 12 away on my time. And um, yes, and I just want to show you everything's well with me. And I'm going to, I, I keep on wanting to put this down just a little bit so you can actually see more of the pineapple too. So there it is. It looks nice. And I'm going to show you after. I'm going to show the stages of what I've done already. And then I'll come back and actually do this live what I start out with. And then I might have to come back on a couple more live streams where I'm going to uh, continue on showing you because it could take several weeks for it to start growing, but I'll show you the roots grow and how to do that. And I also um, want to start a couple of my garden seeds this today too. So I'm going to get started soon. I'm just getting a little bit of time because it's only been a couple minutes, but uh, yes, I'm going to put the screen down a little bit so that you can more see the plants that I plan on working with. I'm gonna go right here. So what I'm going to do is, I'll wait for a little bit, but I wanna show you the stages. After I did all this, which we're gonna do last, I'm gonna show you how to put root it and everything. Uh, you got, oh, thanks Cliff. No, look, just make sure, yeah, there's the crown Cliff. That's what a crown looks like. You gotta have the center of that. Some of the machines I could, I don't have one, but I've seen them do it. It's got, it's like an open hole and they literally put it in the center, turn it, pull it out and pull out the crown so you can't grow them. So you have to have that or you will never be able to grow this plant. But it's fine. You're going to like it. I think if you try, it's not that hard to do. And maybe Cindy will like doing it and Susan will see it. It's actually such a cool plant, uh, really. So I'm going to, I'm not doing this one right yet. I want to pull this aside. Um, I was going to wait for, I'll wait for a little bit, I guess. Um, just, we'll give it a couple minutes, okay? And then I'll get started showing you the stages of I, what I've grown, which I've done on other live streams. I've grown, shown the stages, but this way you get the connection of what the ultimate, what it's going to look like in the end after it takes about a year and a half to actually grow a baby pineapple from the, the plant. And it, the plant will become really big. There you are. Hi. Hello. Hi there. We just said that you got your plant. I'll give you time to get it ready because I'm going to show the stages of it. So if anybody watches the live stream, um, again, you, right in the beginning, it'll show what it looks like before we start getting into it. Um, so that's what I thought was exciting right here. I, I am giving a little bit of time for people to come in and then I'll, I'll show the stages. I, I can show, we can talk and show the stages, but um, I, I think I will. I'll move on and then we'll come back to what I'm going to do with this plant. So it gives you enough time if you want to actually, you have a plant. Again, I'm showing you, you need the crown. I'm going to do that several times because it's very important to have that crown in the sun right in here. You have to have that or it's going to rot and, and it, it'll die. It's too much energy to grow the top and the roots. That's what happens to most why things do not turn out is because you don't have the crown. So I'll put that aside and then I want to show you the stages of what I did. So we'll start after we we do root this, then they'll become like this. Okay, so that I have two of them started. Now they will look like that, which looks like they're dying almost, but they're not. If you look in here, they're all still green. They were rooted. I put them in dirt. I put them on a live stream one time. Yeah, I'm going to do it soon. I'm giving you time to get it ready, Bill. I will, I'm will. i showing the stages, and then we'll get into doing the pineapple after. I just want a short, brief thing. So if anybody doesn't want to watch the whole live stream, they can at least get the idea through the beginning of it how I did it. 
uh, is what I'm doing right now. So I, I'm giving you time to set up for your pineapple. You will need, obviously, the pineapple. You'll need a mason jar or something. I use a mason jar. And then I'll eventually I'll show you. I'll pull it up with water. So you'll need the, the pineapple, a mason jar. And you're gonna, you might, if you, you're having a hard time pulling the leaves off, you might need a knife. So I'll let you do that in the meantime, Bill, as I show this. So this one looked a little bit better. And, and, and it'll start to, to dry out. But this one, this one was grown longer, and you can see the leaves are a little bit better on it. But there's it is. It's starting to grow here, right? This one I'll probably have to move into a different pot, a bigger pot. But when I do that, that'll I'll show that on live stream. When I go to repot this, I actually pull all the leaves that are burnt off here to make the plant look nice. All these plant, like the leaves down here, will come off until I have the main, all of it looking green like that. That's when I transplant it, just the, the, the green, but it's not big enough now. It hasn't been rooted long enough in this pot. This one's not ready yet either, but this will come first because you can see a lot of the leaves are nice and green. I'd probably only remove a little bit of the brown, but as I replant it each time, I pull off the brown, put the whole thing back in, and the whole plant ends up looking like. Now we're going to do the next stage. After I did that, this is what it looks like. Now I can pull a few of them, but you're going to see. This is what it looks like after I did this. There, there is the next stage, right? That's what the next stage looks like. And when I replant this again, if I want to, I'll pull off the dead leaves on here, these ones, and then I'll probably put it in another pot. Pretty soon I'll have to put in a bigger pot, but that's what it looks like. Um, and this plant, which I will bring back in a minute, Oh, what are you? Oh, wait a minute. Cindy and I are moving to Nova Scotia. <laughs> I think he's joking about that, but I think he'd love to move to Nova Scotia because how nice it is. I get that, Cliff. I get it's beautiful there. Absolutely. Okay, so then we'll pull off and replant this. And I'm going to move this out of the way. But I want to bring it back because I want to show you the last thing. Okay, so. Bill, this is my plant. It's not ready to be done, but when it is, I'll come back and I'll pull it off the plant and replant this whole pot. Here is the last one. And this is what's important. This whoop, is what showed up. There we go. Look at the size of that now. Okay, if you are, Cliff, I will have to go across on the boat to see you. Yeah, no, he's just joking with it. So anyways, this is um, the, the plant, and it's not, it still can grow because it's not yellow. It's still green. If you do a normal pineapple, I'm going to cut this off when it starts to turn a little yellow. So it's going to get a little bit bigger. And the, see the, the lid here? This lid right here like the top leaf of this pineapple plant is that's what i tried to show the last time is this one that plant oop, was a baby pineapple from my that this is the original baby pineapple that came out of that plant the first one and i took it like that little baby I did the same rooting where, where I'll do all, with all of them. And then I put it in the dirt. And this is the plant right here. Look, look that tiny. Along, well, it's going to be well months and months. I don't know if it's quite a year. But it was quite a while. But it looks like that. So this is all the stages I want to show. Um, this is all the stages I want to show. And if anybody watches a live stream, they'll get all the stages right in the beginning. They don't have to watch an hour live stream. They can see how it looks. Okay, you go get your pineapple ready, and you tell me when you're ready. So I'm going to take this off, and I'm going to bring back my pineapple, and I will wait for you, Bill, what you got to do with it. Okay, so here is the pineapple, and here is my mason jar. And we're going to drop it down so you can see everything. Yeah, there you go. So you'll see what I do. I need a mason jar, right? I need a pineapple. And I'm also going to get 
I could do this, but I'll bring the water to us so that we know we have enough water here. So I'm going to bring some water. Bring up my little pot of water there. That's all the stuff I need. Right there. Simple as that. It's pretty simple to do. And I think the plants are awesome. Of course, you got to put them in a sunny window. Okay, pineapples are tropical. So in order for them to grow, they're not going to like being in direct sunlight. They like high heat, high sun. I put them in the highest windows. Uh, my, what I've already said, the west end and the south end is my highest sun windows. And that's where they grow. They don't grow like I can't put them on a table away from the sun or it, they, they, they like the sun. Well, hello. What is that? Wanhida. Hello. Welcome, Wahida. Where are you from? And you got the water ready? Because you're going to need the water. You can just put it the top water. You ready? Bill, okay. So it's simple as, well, we're going to take the tag off, obviously. I'll take the tag. Wisconsin. Well, welcome from Wisconsin. I am doing you, if you watch the beginning of this, and it's not long because I'm only 11 minutes into my live stream, it'll show you the stages of the pineapple and what I get from it to now how I'm going to start it. And I have a live stream, I have a video on it, but I just thought this would be fun to do it live stream with my friend, Newfound Drone Productions, has one at home. Oh, King Taco, hi, welcome. Of course, you switched your name, why'd you switch your name? I know you from King Taco for sure. Are you leaving? Bye. Okay, Bill, if you're ready, this we're going to move this out of the way. And this is what I want you to do. You're going to take the lid off. You don't need any knife. You're going to take your hands. And it, it, you're stronger than me, so you should be able to get it. But you're going to twist this off. Okay, so I'm going to have to stand it up because it's going to be hard. But you keep twisting. And this, it's a little bit of work there. I got it. Twist it off. See, it's done. The, this pineapple I'm going to put aside so I can have it as dessert for another day. I don't have to eat it the same day. Yours is off. You just twist it off, right? And it looks like that. Okay. I'm moving the pineapple out of the way because that's my dessert for later. All right. And I could, I'm going to get a knife because I'm going to clean it a little bit too. So I'll get a knife. Okay. This is so simple. I'm telling you, because okay. So now we're gonna go like this. We're gonna literally pull all the bottom leaves off. Keep pulling them off. I'm going to take quite a bit off. Okay. Just keep pulling the leaves off. Keep, well, watch me see how much I do. Keep going. I'm going to show you when to stop. I'm going to keep going. If you think you're ahead of me, slow down then, but just keep pulling them off. Don't worry, you won't pull too much off. This is like, we're going on about an inch. I just know I can tell by look how much I want to do. And then um, I'll stop. That's looking good. And I'm going to take this very little bottom and cut it off. You don't want any juices or anything. It'll rot the water, and you're going to have to change the water periodically. Don't let the water go, like, stagnant or, you know, green or anything like that. Like, change the water 
You don't have to change it every day. Just change it when you think the water is going to go bad. Change the water. You have to change it. You can't just leave it sit and not change it. I think I got a little more. Okay. So you will see in a few days, you will see there's little dots. You can see them, but the, the little dots are what the roots are right in here. You have to have this exposed. I might even take another one. You want it exposed enough because that's where you're going to get the roots. I even do another one. All the roots are going to be right in this section, not down here, right here. So that is about, I did, what did you say, about an inch? You can go even, even if you did too much, it's not, not going to hurt it because all you're going to do is bury the whole thing in dirt after. And we'll get to that point. When I get ready, I'll do another live stream and actually I'll plant it in front like I did before. I'll plant this one though, because this is going to be, I put pineapple plant number one, lesson number one, and I'll come back with lesson number two. And I'll say how, how long it took because we're going to date it in a minute too. So now that is good. So what I'm going to do, you know, a lot of people put toothpicks, which is fine. I originally did that in my video, but I don't even, you don't even have to do that for this. So I'm going to put it there. Okay. So see how low it sits. Now what we're going to do, I'm only going to go to the, the top. Let's put this down a bit. Hopefully you can see that there. I'm only going to water where where i expose the leaves don't go higher than that because you'll rot the plant out so just go in here it shouldn't sit on the base i don't think if it's sitting on the base you can use toothpicks but don't let it sit on the base and i don't think it is so you can see there's still space don't let it sit on the base and water all the way up to the top of where the leaves started there like that and keep it no no more than that. Just keep it the uh, bottom part in there, right? Just the bottom where we pull the leaves. See, this is almost a little too high because I'm going into the stalk of the plant and I don't want that. I might dump a bit out, but just to here. So I'll dump a little bit out and then I'm gonna date it and label it. Now, if it's sinking too much, it's not gonna hurt you to use toothpicks if you really want to, but... Um, Toothpicks will work the same thing. I don't normally use toothpicks, but it depends on the pineapple. So if it's sitting too low, I can just go like that and put three in, right? And I'll bring the level up if you feel it's sitting too low. See, now that helps it sit higher up. And then now I can go and pour more water if I want. You might have to do this depending on if your your top, the the top is too thin, and you're going, going to want to do that. And now you got to keep the water level there all the time. Like it, it, it'll dry out. So just come back and put more water in to keep it to the level of like that, like I've said lots of times here, right? See, I can put these to an angle so they sit up a little higher, but. I prefer not to use the toothpicks if I don't have to, okay? Don't use the toothpicks if you don't have to, but I'm using it in this case because I want it I was getting too low into the bottom. So now it's got lots of room for the roots to go down. It's perfect. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to date, date it and label it because I always like doing that because then it tells you how long. One might take longer than the other, but um, I am. I'm going to put today's date when I started it, and we'll see for this particular plant, it's going to take a few weeks. But what's cool, in a few days, I would give it three to five days, you will start seeing the little knobs in that yellow part. And you'll see it. That's where the roots are going to come out of, which is really cool. Okay, so I'm going to get my masking tape. Okay, so I'm going to get my masking
I, I got no tooth. That's better. I, I prefer not having toothpicks. What happens is because this sinks too much, I don't like that. But most of my plants, Bill, were wider base. The top was wider base. So I just put the whole base in there and let just the bottom sink in. It's better. I'd rather not have toothpicks, but it's not going to harm it if you use toothpicks. But I don't normally, the other two, I never use toothpicks at all. I don't, I don't prefer that, but in case this was too narrow, I like this sitting better and other roots can go down and I'll just have to keep the water level up. Okay. Today's April 2nd, 2026. And I like doing this. You don't have to do it, Bill. It's kind of nice for my book and my journal. I can put in there dates. Um, you know, if I forget, I can go back and say, okay, this pineapple plant took this long. So I have, I keep track of dates and then that's what I do. There we go. I'm going to put that and we will see the changes of the plant. Like I might give this so many days and then I can come back. I can go back on a live stream, show you what the root system looks like until I'm ready to plant it. I'll do that. Well, it's as long as you have what I showed you and as long as you have the roots and you keep the water level up, don't let it ever not have water it has to have water in it even if you went a little low it's fine it still has water on the bottom but do not let it drop where it never sits in the water it has to sit in the water so um there you go i have that and now another little in fact is do not put that in the sun you need it in direct sun you'll burn the leaves and everything while it's trying to root so just put it in direct sun it still might turn brown because of the acid and pineapple but um it put it in direct sun. So I have mine, I have a window and beside that is kind of dark. It's not dark, dark, but it's indirect sunlight. So I put it to the side of my kitchen window and I just let it sit there and it's perfect. If you were to put that into the sun, you'll burn it for sure. You'll, you'll already have crispy leaves and I don't know if it's going to work out for you if you do that. All right. I have, I'm trying to clean up as I go. Oh, And we can compare notes, Bill. You're in my plant. We'll see. We'll see what it looks like. Um, like I said, if I come back within about a week or do a live stream next week or something, we'll see. Hi, Lise. We'll see how it goes. Uh, oh, oh man. Go back. It's not, at least when we get off of here, uh, trust me, it's worth going back to see it. Um, it's only 11 minutes. It's not long. So just go to the front of this. I show you all the stages of all my plants and then I go into step by step. It's only 11 minutes and it, it won't take you long. I wouldn't force people to do a whole live stream. I think that's too long, but okay. So see now I, I I'm going to stress that not to, uh, if you don't want to use toothpicks, I would rather not use toothpicks, but because it's sitting too low, um, I did. So that's going to go in direct sunlight out of the way. And now I'm going to clean up the mess so that I can do a little more planting. I want to plant, start my plants for the garden for this year. So I'm, I only have one set, but I might do something else. I will come back on another live stream in a week. We'll check on it looks like in a week and uh, me and Bill can compare how this plant is doing. Bill, once you get the hang of this, you might be addicted to it. You might do it every pineapple plant. You might do it all the time and you can give these away as plants because it doesn't cost much money. You know, you have the pineapple and then it turns into a beautiful plant and you can give it as a gift for a low cost of a pot and soil. So, and then you won't, you know, people won't waste just throwing these away. Actually, I'm going to throw these in the garden. I'm not even going to, I'm going to put this outside. Um, all this stuff. I'll just throw it in the garden. Well, biodegrade. And I didn't waste anything, did I? I ate the pineapple. I'm putting this in the garden, ate the pineapple, and the top is going to be a nice plant, which will eventually grow you into a little baby pineapple in about a year and a half it takes. And again, I suggest you put dates on it because it's kind of nice to know how long it took you to grow that plant. And so you'll know what, how to do the next one will come in even easier. I have gotten my other pineapple to root 
but never a grocery store one. I hope this works. Um, I, ha I have a crown. As long as you have a crown, it should work. It should work good. And like I said, Del, I can come back. You know, if I'm not doing anything next Sunday, okay, we'll make a date for coming back around this time next Sunday, and we'll check our plants because I believe you're going to start seeing something between about three to five days, even two. You'll see nubs. You won't see roots, but you'll see nubs. So in a week, we'll come back. I'll show you what I have, and you, you can pair with your plant, and then we can move on. Um, so this is uh, pretty cool. I, I, you know, if you guys want to try it, I hope you do. Uh, follow the steps what I just did in this live stream and have fun with it. Like I, it's now I can just, I'm here to gab a little bit with you guys and see how you're doing, but I'm also going to, these were the beans I kept bragging about. And I did, I buried because I was very proud. I never grew them. So there's the mother stallard beans, which I got from Baker's Creek. And I have shown this before. I'm going to grab the jar because I want to show everything as I do things. There's the beans. Those are were bought. The, the beans are the seeds. So they, they work. And so this time, I'm not going to put them in direct. Oh, cool. Very cool. That's going to be a one because the odds are... Some seeds are not like my uh, one set of seeds that I got for uh, chamomile tea are terrible. They're not even germinating. So I'm going to try something else because I wanted to grow teas. But uh, some of the stuff does not look that good. I'll show you a couple things after. So anyways, I'm going to do the quick way. Um, I could put this in soil and everything, but I'm going to be testing my beans anyways. It's a lot faster to do this. For some things, especially beans. Beans don't like being transferred to pot to pot, but I have done it and it works okay for me. Because the last time I put the beans directly last year, I got this much, but I only had two plants because the animals were eating all the seeds. Oh, yeah, go for it. Put the dogs out. So while I do this, I got Mother Staller and I put the date on these. And I put the date on when I'm going to plant these. So I have a lot this year. I'm hoping to, to put a lot in that area where I put the boards. I want to put these in it. Because I love these beans are wonderful. I've said it over and over. They turn white when you cook them, but they taste delicious. And maybe one day I'll make some to show you what they actually look like when you cook them. They're actually so cool. So I'm going to. dampen these I don't want to get them too too wet because they'll mold in the bag and then I'm going to put them in here and I'm going to put these in the sunlight so that is the start of what I want to grow this year in my garden is these seeds Let's seal this up All right, that's cool. I might put, I want to, I'm going to keep this bag. So for next year, I'll just put Mother Stallard in whatever September, whenever I pick the beans in 223. So I'll have some to continue on the process of growing more beans because I just love these beans. Love it. I'm picking things that I know that grew well and that I like this year. Um, I don't know if I'll add, normally I like adding unusual things that I grow, but not always. I will show you a few of the plants I got back here. Well, I'd like to show you this. See, this is the one that I did when I'm hoping it's turning out, but it really isn't. It's not doing very well at all. It's burning and it's called hyssop. Maybe I might leave it off out of direct sun and see if I can get this growing better. It definitely doesn't like the sun. It's like frying. So I'm going to try to move this to another location and see if I can get this growing. Because this makes is going to make a very healthy licorice tasting tea, this anise hyssop. But it's not doing well. I saved a little bit before, which I have right. There's my teas. Here is some of the tea, I think. Right there. Here's some I saved. What is it? Yep. It smells like, right here, it smells like black licorice. It's really good. I can't wait to get enough of this, and I want to make some tea bags with it 
but unfortunately it's not growing as good as I want it to. So um, I'm going to move this one out and we got the beans sitting in the sun. This is going to go into Rex. I got to put it somewhere else where I feel we'll do better. So I'm going to bring it in my kitchen and see if I can mine and then we roll that in the kitchen. Okay. I have experiments going all over the place. That's done. And then I will re-show you how these are doing. Now the clover is looking a little rough. Well, this is what I want to sow. This is the one where I want to redo the bulb next year because it's a beautiful plant. Um, the amaryllis. This is what's going on with the amaryllis. It, it needs to get strong and have energy for the bulb to produce a plant next year. So I'm letting it grow flowers and it's probably going to go outside and sit to get energy. Then I'll take this whole plant and put it out of the sun in a warm, dry place, like under my stairway. And then I can pull it out and start rewatering it. And it should reroute to another beautiful flower. But I have never done it before, but I'm trying to see if it's going to work that way. So I'm listening to advices from other YouTube channels and we'll see what happens. So that is the amaryllis. This is a really, I wish you were around to see it. Amar Look up amaryllis. It's a red, uh, what's it called? I wrote it down here so don't forget. It's called a red lion. It's the most known amaryllis plant. But check it out. Do you know what an amaryllis looks like, Lise? Just go to a video. Like Go check red lion amaryllis. Wait until you see how pretty this plant is. Uh, some are double blooms. It depends on the, what kind you get. This this to me came up and it had one flower on one side. My hands are here. It came up, one flower on this side and one flower eventually on that side. It was beautiful. The flowers are gorgeous. Yeah, look it up. This, this is something that is a really cool bulb that you can have if you take care of it and do it right. You can have it for a lifetime. You just have to let the flower bloom when you want it ready. You kind of have to time it when you want to pull it out of the darkness, water it, and then it, it should rebloom for you but it needs energy to rebloom for the next year. So you have to let the leaves grow. I'm going to probably put this in the sun and give it very little water. It doesn't want a lot because you'll root the bulb up, but give it a little bit of water just here. Don't touch the bulb or down below and then let it sit on the sun outside all summer long and then take it in uh, before it gets too cold. Take it in, in, you know, September, don't October, maybe beginning of October it starts to get cold. Bring it in your house put it under your stair or somewhere where it's dry and dark, let it sit there. And then if you want to time it, cause it roughly took me about four weeks and normally it's four to six weeks. I think it took about four or five weeks. I wrote it down and um, then start watering it again. And it's going to come back and you're going to see you get another bloom by doing it. It just needs the energy. That's why I'm letting the leaves grow. So this thing can go over and over. I watched videos on it. They, they, you can have them for years and years and years and years if you do it right. Like I'm talking about, I think some people have bulbs for 30 years. So it's a really worth your money. It's a little expensive of a bulb, but it's, they're beautiful. You can set them out to come up at Christmas time. That's what a lot of people do. They, they put red amaryllis and it comes out at Christmas time. And um, I set it up. I wanted it to come out for Valentine's day. So it did. I went a little earlier cause I did six weeks. So it came out probably a few weeks before Valentine's day in February. Cause I timed it. I should have went a little later and it was so cool. Time flies. I can't believe it's Sunday. Okay, so I'm going to move this out of the way. And uh, let's see what else I want. I did these balls, but I'm not. Oh, God, I got to water them. These were my paper whites. Now, I understand they won't regrow, but I'm trying to fool around with them and seeing if paper whites, they had the flowers on some of them. There's a the paper white. But um, there's my little fairy, too. I got to put in the garden after. And they say they don't regrow, but I'm trying to fool around with them and see if I can. Uh, I want to give them energy before I take them out and dry them up. So I want to see if they see they're nice and green. And then I'll eventually let it all dry out. And I'm going to see if the, the, uh, the plants will rebloom again. Because they say they don't, but I want to see for a fact they don't. See, these are really dry. I'm going to, I want them to keep growing, so I'm going to give them a little water. It's not time for me to stop them, but I will. I'll eventually cut the water out. Let them dry thoroughly till they die down. And then 
replant them again another time later on. Move the paper white so I'm getting things done, which is really cool. I'm happy. Happy, happy. Okay. Move that out of the way. Um, I don't have any soil. I really did want to see a couple of the plants, but and, and you saw these already on the other live stream. But there's my uh I'm hoping to have a baby one. I think there's a baby one on this one. There's the rattlesnake plant, but that might be a baby. But I'm letting it get bigger and then I'll repot it and see if it's got two plants. There's the fur plant that I love. Okay. And there is the shamrock that I think I've watered it too much, so it's starting to yellow. And I don't know. I'm trying to save it. I don't know. It might be. I think it had too much water, so I'm trying to let it dry out a little bit. But there is a little bit of uh, yellow, and sometimes that means it's been watered too much. So. I don't know how, I never did a shamrock, so I'm trying to keep it alive, and we'll see how that works. And then I still have, this is the one I'm trying to root. Um, I'm going to switch things around here. These are the one I'm trying to root. This is, which I showed before when I bought it. It's so much of a nice of a plant. I got this one, and it's, my cactus, my winter cactus do really good in how to root it. I know how to do that. I'm pretty good of an expert on the, the winter cactus, but this spring one, I think I need more water, uh, is not working the same way. Right now it's not rooting in water. It's actually rotting out. So I'm not sure. Um, I'm trying something else. I put a little leaf right here, and I'm going to try seeing if it grow directly in dirt and root in dirt because it, it's rotted out in the water and Christmas cactus I take a piece from the joints here put it in water and they grow like pretty easy this is not doing the same thing so I'm keeping I'm keeping on trying to, to do it I still have it in water so I haven't given up hope on that I have two of them I have a pink one and what's that one and what color did I put? like orangey peach this is an orangey peach one I think I put spring cactus orange yeah so I'm gonna move these out. These are all well watered, so I don't have to worry about them. And I'll bring this one. And put this out. There's the pink one. There's an orange one, a pink one. And this is what I'm trying to do. I cleaned it out and put it back in the water to see if I can get it rooted, but it did go slimy. And I, it's right here. The piece. This is what I normally do for a Christmas cactus. So I'm doing the same thing. And Christmas it would go out here, but this went all slimy on me. I don't know why. So I took the bottom piece and put it back into the water. This is not dying. The other leaf died. And I was trying to grow that. It's supposed to root from here and it's not. And this plant, which I've shown before, is this one. All right. Which is called the Anthurium. So there's the anthurium, which is dying off a little bit. Got enough water in there. There's my anthurium. This is tropical, like normally from Hawaii and stuff. Oh, there's a new piece going right there. That's cool. Right here, I have a piece growing in. But that's an anthurium right there. So that, there's different ways you're supposed to be able to take the seed, the leaf. So I tried the leaf first. And the one died, and this one's still hanging, but it's starting to turn. So that might not be the way to propagate this plant. I'm going to try some other way after. You might you might be able to hide it, Lisa. I was going to give you pieces of stuff, too. Maybe all you got to do is take a piece of um, wet paper towel, put it in plastic, and then kind of hide it because you're going to be home. You just have to cross over. So... Um, why don't you tr get a piece from your grandma, bring it here, and then we'll we'll take care of it. And then even if you had to pull it out of the dirt, we can sit there and put it in plastic. And you should be able to – you only have to cross the border. So you could hide that in a suitcase or whatever. And as long as they don't ask you, do you have anything like that, uh, you might be okay with it. It's all in how it's done, you know. It's all in how it's done if you get trouble or not. 
And I think the most they'll do is confiscate the plant. And you just play stupid and say, oh, I didn't realize I couldn't do that. And you should be fine. But, I mean, I'm not telling you. You do what you feel comfortable with. i got to cut this off now. I don't like that. All right, let's see. My scissors are getting loose. Let me cut. Let's do that. It's right here. Well, it's like I get to water it. What do you got? My grandmother, Christmas. I wish I could get a cutting and bring it home. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I would kind of try it, but that's me. I'm not trying to tell you what to do. I would probably give it a go. All right, I have all my plants back in the window, but it's kind of nice. I'm showing you all the stuff here. I'll move this back. Yeah, I saw these rooting. Now, these take a long time. See, I gotta get some more. But did they start to root? I think they did finally. Oh my God, that's exciting. Here, this is my snake plant. And this freaking plant is awesome. And it's awesome for oxygen and everything else. And it takes a while to root, so you can't give up on it. But now, finally, you can see it's rooting right here. And it, I tell you, I planted in the jar December 8th. December 8th, December, no, November, no, wait, December, January, February, March. So almost the 8th, April, four months, four months this took to root. But it, it you have to have patience with it. And it's so cool because the plant that I have, I showed you, I'm going to grab that because I want to show you the things I do. Uh, uh, and this is my chance right now to do it on my channel here. So. I am going to show you my plant. It's in my bedroom, but I'm going to show you it. I got it. I have so much stuff here. I'm trying to get my seeds put out here. I'm gonna have to put some in my greenhouse, I think, because I'm getting too many plants when we're loaded in my windows. Okay, so let me show you something in a minute. I'll put those in the after. All right, so I'm gonna grab this. So you ready? I took four of those plants. I got four of these because I have to get a couple more, but I plant four of these like that once they root really good. And watch this. I think I showed it, but let's see. From four of those plants that I rooted, this is the plant that I got from it. Um, these are all my plants rooted from, like I just showed you. And there, one plant... Let's see. One plant, two, three, four. There's four plants in this. And look at how nice that is. This is my baby. I call it my mother plant because this is what I'll be pulling. I want more plants. So I'm going to pull it from this plant here to make more snake plants. But it does take a long time, like four months or over that to root them. Once it's rooted, look at how cool that is. Like I'm proud. That's all mine. I took, I had an original plant. I took four stems from it. I rooted them, did that myself, and I sold off the main plant that I bought. So I basically got my money back from the plant I bought. I bought it for like, I don't know, $30 or something, $20, $30, and I got the money back for it. And I got a plant from it. So I gained the plant. I didn't gain money from it, but I gained the plant from it. Uh, 
Contagious. So let me put these back. I want to put my little pineapple. Well, these are the ones I show on the stages. These are the ones I started a while ago. Again, I should have put the dates on. I didn't, but. Um, no. Okay. I'm going to put this back in the window. And would you like to see? Well, that's dangerous to get it, but I could show you my avocado plant. Right here. I don't want to kill myself on the cord here, but here's my avocado plant. Oh, you leave it, Nana? Awesome stream. No problem. I got to go make something to eat. I'll get, try to get back if possible. Yeah, no problem. It's all good. I'm getting off. Pretty soon anyway. So I've been on for almost an hour. So I got what I wanted to do. I wanted to do the pineapple with you. And I will be rejoining next, sometime this week. I'll come back on the other channel and I'm going to make, um, I'm going to live stream cooking where I make the apple fritter bread. So you might not want to miss that. If you like, you like to cook and you want to learn how to make this really delicious bread, I will be doing that next. Looks like it needs a lot of water. So we're going to move this back. And I'm going to put this with water. Okay. I got my little bunnies in here for Easter. I'm going to water this plant up really nicely because it's so dry. There we go. That, that should be nice and happy now. All these are watered. <sighs> and I, I could show you the olive tree. That's the last thing I'm gonna show you, was the olive tree is really cool too. The olive tree, is, I'm gonna go to call signs probably next week, or a week or two, and I'm gonna get some more unusual plants if I can find any. And I love this one too. And I can put this outside in the summertime. So you get a look at this. Um, that's my olive tree. Uh, hey, Mr. T. Hi. Hello. How are you? Welcome. So this got two leaves splitting off. What I really think is amazing is it didn't lose the leaves down here. The leaves are all in here. And normally trees and that start to lose the bottom leaves and then they'll grow up. And I thought this is a really cool plant. That the leaves are still down here. So I'm going to move that out of the way. Put back in the sun. And I, not if I can use this box since we're, and I'll put my pineapple thing back just before I get off. I'll put this back in the window. All right. That's a lot of water, that's why. I'm going to work that since it's going to go. Okay. Put that back. We got this here. That's if you want to see how I did this, just go back to about I did this all within about the first 15 minutes of this live stream. Um, I show you all about the different plants that I have here, like to get to, to this stage. And um, give it a look at it if it's something that interests you. Oh, see that one? I don't like that. I don't really like the toothpicks in there. I might take them out. I'm not happy with toothpicks. But anyways, put this away.
Hi, Lisa. Good day, everyone. Been a long time. Glad you're doing well. I'm doing very well. Thank you. And hi, Lisa. How are you? I, I'm not happy with how this is syncing, and I don't like that I'm using just toothpicks. So what I'm going to do, but it works with toothpicks, but I don't like the toothpicks. In it. I'm going to dump it a little bit, and I'll put it back. I like that better. Yeah, that's a little more. So, a little high for it, but okay, I'm gonna do that. I like that better. I'm not happy with the toothpicks, but you can use toothpicks, but I like it better where it's not having toothpicks in it and just keeping the water level right where I want it to root. Yeah. All right. Um, hi, MT. Hello. Hi, MT. Well, my chat hadn't moved. Thought no one was talking. Oh, did you put it on something else? Did you put it on live stream or whatever at the top there? Make sure it's running. So I got this done and I got these in paper towels today on this live stream. Um, and I will try to get some stuff set up by next week because it's right now within the first two weeks is what I got to start all my plants that I want to put outside. I, I do directly see flowers because I learned that that worked out really well last year, but um, I will be, I want to come back and show this and we'll do an update about maybe next Sunday in a week from now, I'll come back and I'll update how this plant is doing um, and how the roots are going with it and comparing it with Bill's plant plus um, I will probably get it set up that I do more seeds and I can chat. We can all chat with each other and I can do some more seeds that I want to plant outside. Oh, not sure what happened. I closed chat and reopened it. I feel rude. <laughs> How dare you? Not sure what happened. I closed chat and reopened it and yeah, they all showed up. That's okay, Lisa. It happens to the best of us. So I'm glad we have Amtis here and Lisa's here and I think Cliff's out there. I don't know, he's talking German or something. And um, and Lisa, are you working on our visit together? I, I wonder if you're going to work on our visit together. And get a piece of that. What color is your grandma? Maybe I want a piece of your grandma's Christmas cactus. What color is her cactus? Is it white? I have white, pink, and red. And I wondered if, um, what color it was, what color flower she has on that one. Because I can never have enough plants. I'm going crazy. Like I said, I'm going to buy some new ones. I'm going to probably go out to my garden place in a week or so and see what they got new. I will never buy anything I already have. But I, I if there's something new there uh, that I've never had or grown, I'm going to pick it out and try it out. See if it works. Oh, it's red, I believe. Okay, that's cool. So you're gonna go. You're gonna house sit the kids, the dogs until Tuesday. Looking for a good time to sit down and talk to him. Who are you talking to? Your your grandpa or your dad? Because you're saying to him. So who is it you're gonna be chatting with? Your dad or or your grandfather? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I am host kids and dogs sitting until Tuesday looking for a good time to sit down and talk. Perfect. Okay. You talk to him and see what happens and it's okay. If you can't do it, it's fine. But, um, I think it's, it's pretty safe here. You know, me tell him, you know, me for a long time and I can even go on cam to, to meet him and I have a spare room for you and it's all set easily for you to come over and visit if you want. And then we can discuss on everything I do from cooking to crafts to gardening. We can have a good time. 
I said, I, I like to be organized. It's kind of like my daughter's coming for October for, and she's coming in July and already July, I already have stuff planned for her. I'm going to do um, a taco bar for her, like her going away party when she leaves the second last day. I'm going to lay out like hard and soft tacos. I'm going to do nacho tacos and everything, a whole salt taco bar. And that's going to be the party. We're going to have like, it's kind of like a Mexican taco bar for when she leaves. So, and then my friend from England is coming down and I'm planning things to cook and decorate and do different things for him when he comes down and her, she's coming back in October. So same with you. I just like, if you're coming, then we get some things uh, organized and and I know I'm going to make sure you have a good time. So, so that's what I'll say. I'll make sure we're doing, we're talking a lot and seeing what you like to do and you want to cook, you want to garden, whatever it is, we can do it all together. That's what I'll do. So that's what I'll say on that. MT, how come you're quiet? You're not saying anything. And Lisa, are you still here? How many dogs? Good day, everyone. Feeding the pups. I wonder how many dogs you have today. So I'm going to get off soon. This is was a main live stream that in the beginning, you can see how to plant this fast. And so this way, it, oh, three, that's not bad. I think I'm going to get off shortly because I just don't want it to be too long of a long stream today. And if you want to learn how to do the pineapple plant, it's all in the beginning. It's I try to do it within 15 minutes or so. You get to see the variations of it. Oh, thumbs up. Thank you. you. Get to see the variations of it to how exactly how to do this plant and it should work out for you. So if you let you want to give it a try, give it a try instead of wasting it. Um, thank you. Hugs to you too. And I will tell that to my mom for sure. It's a beautiful day now. It's cold, but it's nice and sunny. So I'm actually probably going to go out for a little bit after this live stream. I got to clean up my mess and get out. Um, I will be seeing anybody that wants to come and join me. And try for sure. Yeah, you'll take pictures of that. Just again, I'm I told you through the live stream, everything I stress to do kind of follow along with what I'm saying, because it will help you to have and succeed into growing this plant. Um, I am going to come back to you on the other channel. Those of you who know me from there and I will be coming back next week. And if you are interested in learning how to do an apple fritter bread or just coming to chat, I'm doing that. That's my next live stream. It's going to be on the other channel and I'm going to. Uh, make an apple fritter bread and that you're going to want to have the recipe because it's really good. It's a very good recipe. It's pretty simple. And I'm going to test something out. I've never pinned things before. So I'm actually going to do something different. I'm going to call it like number one recipe for 2023. I'll say the name of it, number one recipe for 2023. And then I'm going to put the recipe right on the screen. The very first thing before I start live streaming, I'm going to put the name of it and then what all the main ingredients are in it. And then I'm going to do the live stream, how to cook it and make it. And so that's what I'm going to do for this year. Anything to do with cooking. I'm going to try to do a cool live stream where um, I, I'll try to do the recipe and do the whole thing, but it, they take about an hour. So I can't do anything unless I make a salad or something. There's it's about an hour. Yeah. You know, the recipe is really cool. It's not that hard to make. So um, hope you stick with me. I'm actually doing something else. I'm gonna, I'm also going to can some apple pie filling later on. We're going to make that because uh, I went to the store to look at how much, you know, when you want to make a homemade pie and you, you just want to buy the can of not homemade, homemade is using fresh apples. But if you want to make like an app, a pie with just using the pre-canned filling, you know how much a can of apples, $7 plus tax a can, $7. To make a nice size pie it takes two cans. You're looking at $14 just for the apples and not even the dough or anything else. So I went, that's crazy. I think I'm going to start canning my own homemade um, apple filling, pie filling, because it's really good. And and it lasts for quite a while. And I, can, I had it last time, I think almost up to a year, and it's really good. So anyways, and I think it's cheaper to can it, that is, than buying a can for $7. It's crazy. Um, check out celebrating for a great recipe. No problem. All right. So I'm going to wish you all a good day. And I'll see if you want to join me this week on the other channel. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Bye, everybody. Thank you for coming.
Much love to you too.